Do you have cool manga characters in your drawings, but your panels are a little empty? Today I'll show you a cool way to make backgrounds for your manga using photographs on Clip Studio Paint. This technique is used by many mangaka, but most famously by Inio Asano, the author of Oyasumi Pun Pun, mixing realism with stylized manga. Before beginning, I highly advise artists to still practice drawing backgrounds from scratch, but think of this as another tool in your arsenal. With that being said, let's begin. To start off, I got a photograph of a house from Pinterest, but it's even better to use your own photographs to make it unique. I've seen some mangaka go out on trips in the city just to take pictures for their settings, like how a film scout looks for locations for their movies. At the very least, it will give you a reason to touch grass. Now go to the filter ribbon, scroll over to unsharpen mask, set the radius to 3, strength to 500, and threshold of 0, or to a setting that you prefer. Once you click OK, the edges of the picture will now be easier to convert into lines. To convert to black and white, go to the layer ribbon and click convert to lines and tones. Within the window, I always click preview so I can toggle the black fill settings to adjust for an optimal amount of black and white conversion where the lines are strong and clear, but not too much that the image becomes muddy. I want to be able to see the edges of the objects in the photograph but not have it all be too thick or obscured in black. Once you've converted the photo to lines and tones, the key to making it your own art is how you clean it up. Within black and white manga, contrast in your objects is very important and you want lots of negative space to delineate your areas of focus and shape hierarchies in your composition. So I simplify the tones by removing the lightest one and turning it completely white. This makes it look more like a drawing than a picture and also makes the house pop. Just like making an object pop by making more negative space, you can also add more shadows to an object to add more variety to the viewer over uniformity that you get from a photograph, like in these branches here. Considering lighting, when you do your line art in black and white, making use of line weight, omission of lines, and negative space is key to add realism to your drawings as well as in paintings too. Let's demonstrate by drawing a simple cube with uniform lines. Not too visually interesting right now, but let's add a light source. We can suggest the silhouette of the object now by using negative space to suggest the object while reducing the line weight where the light source would touch or completely eliminate the line where the light is hitting the object the strongest. This suggestion of the form of the object through a lack of visual information makes the drawing more realistic and appealing through abstraction. To add more realism in black and white, you can also add tone to block up planes by value. Notice I say value when using tones and not different colors by tone in black and white drawings. Black and white drawings lack hue or color variety and only have information in values which should be used to add more dimension through values of different shadows. Because of this, I would try not to color your manga with tones. Let's demonstrate the application of tones by different shadows like so on a character. While skin color would be the same, the tone would only be applied based on the value of the tone on the shadows. I'm also applying decreasing line weight to areas of light. When applying this to backgrounds, you can do the same. In this window, I'm imagining a light source from the top right and decreasing the line weight or completely removing the lines from the top and increasing line weights at the bottom of the object where there is more line weight. I then apply tone to show how the light is entering the window with shadows made by the opaque wall at an angle. Going back to our drawing, we'll continue to clean up our object by adding negative space to where the light source hits the building. My mindset in doing this is distilling shapes where there is light and where there is shadow to make a silhouette. So here I'm adding white areas on the edges of the roof and blocking out areas of shadow in black underneath the roof. I'm then adding more detail in the balcony bars by contrasting those lines with the black shadows in the background. When we compare from our converted photograph to after our cleanup, it gives a visual variety of a hand-drawn picture while also having a sense of realism. With this, you can create a new layer to draw your characters and make them pop in your manga background. When drawing your characters, try to keep the general perspective of the photo in mind with the horizon line and angle of the character relative to it. To add some more visual variety, you can also make your character stand out by softly adding white around your character with the tone scraper brush. And you have yourself a finished manga panel. But wait, 
what if I have a setting in a manga that I need to draw multiple times from different angles? I got you covered. In Clip Studio Paint, you can download 3D materials of places within the Clip Studio store. All you have to do is drag and drop your preferred location. Here I'm using the inside of a Japanese train. And as you can see, you can change the angle of the setting dynamically and zoom in and out with the camera view to get a specific photo to convert into lines. You can even turn on the perspective field as a guide for your drawings. So once you have a preferred angle to lock in, rasterize your 3D layer so the photo can be converted into lines. Then hover over filter, unsharpen mask, set to radius of three, strength 500 and threshold zero, click OK, then hover over layer and convert to lines and tones. Once you do that, click preview and toggle your black fill just enough to get the lines of your background. And then toggle the posterization to mix up your tones. I like to weight the lighter tones more heavily to have more white space to contrast in the composition, but you can toggle based on your preference. Then I'll define the lines more clearly and remove the lightest tone to have that full white. I'll add some passengers on the train quickly to finish out this picture using a brush tool with preloaded patterns of people, which I may go over in another video. And then the rest is up to you to clean up, add more details, and adjust the line width and negative space of your background to your preferred lighting to make your panels visually appealing. Always try to be mindful of where your light source is coming from. In this case, it's coming from the windows and the ceiling of the train. We'll use this to add more line weight at the bottom of the seats for shadows and at the ridges of indentations in the seat barriers. Throughout a manga scene, you can continue to use the same 3D model as a base for your backgrounds to remain consistent or just to have a reference. But that wraps it up here. I hope you found this helpful in your manga making journey. If you want to watch my other art tip videos, feel free to check out these videos.